Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to create an employee attendance app in Clapier with AI by scanning employee identification cards. There can be many ways of using AI for employee attendance. This video will show one way, which is by scanning ID cards. A user can open the app on arrival, take a photo, and the AI block will extract the necessary details from it. Let's see how to do that. There is another video based on making an attendance tracker app. It is linked in the description if you wish to check it out. In my Clapier dashboard, I click on this employee attendance app that I've created earlier. It's a very simple one where a user simply types in their name, selects the date and time, selects clock in or out, and then submits. Instead of this, to add an extra layer of verification, you can add a field to upload live camera images and another field for the AI to extract the data from it. So I'll go to design app where I had created the app structure you can see all the previous fields. Since I'll be extracting information from the identification card, I do not have any need for the employee name field. So I'll just delete this. Now to add an option to scan ID cards, I can allow a user to upload images of it. So I'll click on add field and select the camera image and files block. This block can be configured on the right hand panel. There is a separate video on how to configure this block. It is linked in the description. First, I will give a name to this field. Next, I can go to the advanced section and under allowed file types, I can select the images option. Now, there are two options for images, one via gallery uploads and the other by camera uploads. If I do not want a user to upload an image of their identification card through their gallery and they must do it via a live camera capture, then I can select this option, which is images by camera uploads. I can then select the maximum number of files to be uploaded by the user. You can also give a prefix to the file uploaded if you require. Now I do not need any more configurations to this block, so I'll click on save. Now coming to the AI block, I'll click on add field and select the AI block. The reason for extracting data from the image is because sometimes the image can be hard to read or you can use the details for some other purpose within the app. You can configure the AI block on the right hand panel. So first I'll give an appropriate name to the field. You can give a description if you wish, or you can leave it blank. Now coming to the instructions. Here you will have to tell the AI what you need it to do. Make sure you give the AI block precise instructions on what you require from it, even if it has to be displayed in a certain format. You can have a maximum character count of 500 for the instructions, else you will not be able to save your instructions and you'll get an error. So for this particular example of employee attendance, I can give the instructions like, from the image uploaded in this field, so over here, I can type in at the rate, the field name, return the employee information. I have given the instructions to display the employee information from the identification card image uploaded to this field in a certain format. So it should return the name, ID and the department. I don't need any further configurations at the moment. So I'll click on save. Let's check this out. I'll go to app home. The option to upload the image has appeared over here in the app and once I click on it, I will only be able to upload images through the device camera and not through the gallery. I have uploaded the identification card image through the device's camera. Now I click on the AI block to get the employee information. Here you can see it has displayed the output in my desired format. Sometimes it can give you some unwanted text. So you will have to modify your instructions accordingly to not display such texts. Also, keep in mind that the AI block has a maximum character count of 100 for its display. Now I can go ahead and fill in the rest of the fields in this app. I filled in all the details. Now I click on submit. You can view all your submissions under the submissions tab. Click on a submission and a right hand panel will appear capturing all the details. Now the AI block will also work in the Clapier mobile app. If you haven't downloaded it already, you can do so either on Play Store or App Store. And the moment you log into the Clapier app, any apps that you have created or that have been assigned to you will be live and ready to use. So let's check it out. Over here you can see the mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded. I'll click on the employee attendance app. The app is live and ready to use. First, I'll just fill in the details of the app really quickly. Here, I'll upload the image of the ID card using the mobile's camera. I've uploaded the image and now I'll click on the AI block. The AI block has returned the employee information 
in the desired format. So I can go ahead and click on submit. Even in the mobile app, you will be able to view all your submissions. Click on a submission to view all the details. Now, you can also separate the information into different fields if you require. You will just have to give the right instructions. So you can have separate AI blocks for each of the employee information and modify your instructions accordingly. This would be useful if you require certain information to be separated and to be used within the app for other purposes. So in this way, you can create an employee attendance tracker app in Clapier using AI by scanning employee ID cards. If you have any query on how to configure the AI block or on any other feature in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.